Hey guys, this is Mark. In this video, I'm going to show you a new feature we added in Back Analyst called UI Visibility Control. The feature appeared in version 5.7.0, and it is an extension to another feature, which is developer permissions. Let me show you how it works. Uh, if you log into Back Analyst Console and click on Manage, and then click on Team, uh, this is the, the section where you can control your development team. You can invite other team members and uh, assign various permissions as to what they can or cannot do in Back Analyst. To demonstrate UI visibility control, I will invite a team member, which will be demo at backendless.com. It is an account that I have in Back Analyst. And you can see that automatically uh, that team member is added. And you can uh, click on Manage to control the permissions and now UI visibility for that particular team member. Uh, the, if you are familiar with developer permissions, you will recognize that it's going to be exactly the same layout. What now is added is this little icon that looks like an eye that controls UI visibility. Uh, the way it works is uh, in the column that is on the left hand side, these are individual sections, larger sections of UI, uh, such as for instance, billing or business logic. And then on the right hand side, these are individual sub functional areas, all these individual things now have controls for uh, UI visibility. And then when you disable UI visibility for that user for a particular function, then the entire section that this corresponds to is removed for that particular user and they will not even be able to to see it and, and then work with it. Previously with developer permissions, you could just disable that function and back analysts would say, you cannot execute that function because you don't have permission. But you, with UI visibility, uh, now it is completely removed from the system from from that user's view so before i make any changes uh, at this point this particular account demo at backanalyst.com it's a read only account so i will switch to another browser where i'm already logged in with this particular account and uh, as you can see it is the backanalyst demo logged into console demo and now i have access to everything in console granted it is a read only account so if i try to make any changes i cannot uh, cannot do it, but I can see everything. So if I go back and change the visibility of the UI sections for that demo user, let's say uh, I'm going to hide the billing, business logic, I will try to hide pretty much everything. So the data service is gone, email templates, file service, geolocation, so I'm hiding as much as I can. Uh, and then we will leave only, let's say, messaging. So that user can do messaging but cannot do anything else. And uh, uh, everything is hidden. So I will, uh, and let's say we're going to hide everything in the app settings as well. And click Save. So now if I go back to the demo uh, session in console and reload the page, it's going to look very, very different. As you can see, uh, there's only marketplace and messaging. And uh, under manage, uh, I, I have access to the API keys and the development team. And then messaging stays exactly the same as before. It is a full, uh, full fledged functionality because I didn't take anything away from that user. So granted, with, uh, with the control like this, you can customize it to give access and visibility to various functions of back analysts to the members of your team. And it becomes an environment where you can control access and visibility for, for pretty much everything that exists in back analyst console. Uh, so that's UI visibility for you. And uh, uh, hopefully you will find it useful. Let us know if you have any questions uh, or suggestions to make it even better. We are always listening. Uh, either on our support forum, support.backanalyst.com, or the Slack channel, which is uh, backanalyst.slack.com. Thank you, and as always, 